Welcome to the Fit Rich Show. This is, can you believe this is the first one of 2024? I've really been, not been slacking, but priorities on the on the podcast. It's going to be big this year. I'm going to get more guests on. I'm going to make sure it's consistent. Every week I might do two a week to treat you. But today I'm going to explain to you what you should be doing in 2024. The reason I didn't, the reason I didn't sort of do a podcast at the start of the year of do these habits in 2024, eat this in 2024, set these goals in 2024 because <clears throat> I'm not huge on resolutions. Obviously, I like to set goals and clear a clean slate in the new year. But if you're constantly posting content of do this in 2024 or um, set your goals this way, do that, it normally just sets people up for short-term dopamine. Yeah, that's what I don't really sort of mention it too much. It's because everyone in January, every every man and his dog is posting stuff about that, aren't they? You know, it's just fucking boring to be honest. Because um, you want to set habits for the long term. It's not do this in January or do this in January, do this in twenty twenty four. It's do this constantly. Um, <clears throat> however, this year, if you do want to get into the best shape of your life, okay, you probably have for many years, but this could be a clean year, it could be your year, all that sort of stuff. I want to go through today what you should be focusing on, not just in 2024, but for the next 20, 30 years, especially especially for guys over 40, time strap men who have you know massively let themselves go. And that is a lot of guys. The the studies, the percentages is just getting wild. People are getting more and more out of shape. Yeah, especially guys over sort of 40. Today I want to explain to you basically. The worst thing you can do when you get to 40, yeah? What not to do so you don't get lean. So a few things you want to be doing this year and for the next 30 years. One, if you're cycling, if you're aiming to go road running this this year, you've got you've got your light around and said, cool, I'm going to commit to 5K twice a week, 10K three times a week. It's all well and good, but it's not going to last, okay? One, because it's extremely fucking boring. Who wants to road run, by the way? Um, it's absolutely boring, and it's not going to get you lean, okay? So I say this same message all the time because it needs to get out to as many people as possible. You might have heard me say this. You might have followed me for a while, but you need to be getting in the gym, guys. Okay, if you want to be boosting your testosterone, if you want longevity, if you want to stay injury free when you retire, you want to be skiing with your grandkids, you want to be running around playing football, then you need to start getting stronger, building muscle, and get rid of that sort of feeble, frail looking body. Yeah? Um, and cardio is not going to help you achieve that. All right? Three times a week. This is this, this simple. Okay? Anyway. Rather than me go through a whole workout in this podcast, okay, the best thing for me to do is, anyway, just go over to my Instagram, Rob J Sharp, and just send me an inbound message. Send me a message with the word podcast so I know that you listen to this show and I know exactly what to reply to. And instead of me going through this whole workout on here, I'll just send you it. I'll send you a link. It's a whole full-on workout, strength-based. There's even a nutrition plan in there as well, a little Brucey bonus. That saves me standing here and obviously helps you a lot more if it's all explained. So send me the word podcast on my Instagram, Rob J Sharp, and I'll send you this, okay? So there'll be three workouts, literally two and a half hours a week you need, and they're pretty much full body workouts, guys. You don't need to be doing five-day week sort of bodybuilding splits where you do arms one day, uh, bent over row, um, not bent over row, um, back one day, shoulders one day. You know, that's really old school. And it takes loads of time as well. Even though I don't do that, I pretty much do the full body splits. So that's what you want to be focusing on. Okay. Now, in terms of food, eating eating less food, especially when you get over forty, it's not going to help you. It's stress resilient, especially if you've got a high demanding job. It's stressful. You know, you've got a couple of kids. Obviously, we know how demanding that is. You're eating their food. The worst thing you can do is like a really, really low carb and do it for try and do it as long as possible because that's not going to boost testosterone. It's not going to build muscle. It's not going to get you stronger in the gym, which therefore is not going to improve your body composition. Remember, body composition is more important than weight loss. Okay. So first thing you want to do with your food is make sure just set your protein. 
Okay, set your protein to one gram per pound of body weight. But here's the key, which means we get wrong, is per pound of your goal body weight. So if you're 250 pounds and you want to get to 200 pounds, then that'd be one gram of protein per pound of goal body weight. Okay, that's really important you get that right. Um, that's your protein, your calories. Okay, there's your training. Get rid of the cardio. Send me the word podcast. I'll send you this training program. So that's all that's sorted for you. Now, one one thing I see guys sort of fail in the first, it's probably a staggering stat actually. I think it's like 86% of people fail their quote unquote New Year's resolution by March. Yeah, it's because you go into it and it almost feels like a almost feels like a chore that you're trying to do. You're just trying to force it. You're trying to push it. You don't really like it. You don't really know what you're doing. You feel a bit intimidated maybe when you go in the gym. So first of all, you've got to enjoy what you're doing. If you have no clue or direction of, of what you're doing when you go in there, you're not going to enjoy it. It's like golf, right? If you're absolutely shit at golf, like really shit at golf, you, you're probably not going to play it much, right? Same as like football. If you're going out and play with the lads and you're not very good at football, you're probably going to edge your way from it, right? It's not enjoyable. People take the piss out of you. So it's not going to be that enjoyable. It's the same with going to the gym and training. If you enjoy it, if you know what you're doing, okay, it's going to be long term. It's going to be, I mean, some of our guys, they go on holiday and the first thing they do is they, they get a hotel or a gym. They go there, they love it. It's just part of their lifestyle. Because why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't you want it to be? It just makes you feel great, right? If you're ever struggling, I've had my worst weeks, worst months, always just fall back to the gym. It's always a bit of a remedy, you know? And if you can get that into your lifestyle uh, consistently, that's what's going to make this year different to most years. If you can find a routine, you know what you're doing, okay? And you get into it and you actually enjoy it. You get addicted to it. Once you're addicted to something, that's when you get great results. It's like a business, right? When you... Or something you really like doing this they, they say you know if you've got a, if you've got a job and you love it and you're passionate about it, you're normally pretty good at it right you, like myself for example you know I've, got, I've been in fitness for 18 years got a passion for it like helping people done it for a long time doesn't really feel like a job for me i enjoy doing content enjoy speaking to people so monday to friday i mean i don't have a weekend right every day is the same because i do the same thing i enjoy it um and the reason why I'm good at it is because I enjoy it. So it's the same with the gym. Once you start enjoying it and you know what you're doing, it's just going to be a lifestyle for the next 30 years. And there's no other thing you can actually do to actually look good. Let's be honest, guys. You're like, you want to, I'm not saying you be real, but you want to you wanna be like, when you go somewhere, take your kid tennis or take him to football or take your girls swimming. You know, let's be honest. We're all, we're all like a little bit of vanity metrics. You do want to. You look around, you see the other dad, you, you think, you know, I do want to be one of the better better looking sort of guys in shape here. I don't want to be, you don't want to be the fattest guy, the frailest guy, right? You want to turn up and you want to, you want to win that sports day race or something like that. Okay. So let's be honest. And now the only way to get like that is actually strength training, resistance training, getting stronger. Most importantly, bringing your body composition down. It's honestly so important. Body comp overweight, all right? And that's what you just want to focus on this year. It's really, really important. But the main reason I want to get on this podcast today is obviously the first one of the year and they're going to be more regular. But just send me a message, guys, on Instagram. Again, it will save me going through nutrition and training and also save you listening to another half hour of me rambling on. <laughs> so send me a message on Instagram with the word podcast. And I'll fire this, this training program over here, kick start to the year. There's actually five extra fat loss protocols in there as bonuses, additions. So you get quite a lot. It comes all through email. Um, and it's just pretty well packed. It'll send you on your way. Um, it like debunks a lot of myths out there that obviously you're getting hammered with this January from other people, other accounts. Everyone's really, really hot on it, aren't they? Fitness industry is a bit of a jungle. And I want to sort of help you protect you guys, you know. Um, but again, appreciate it. Appreciate you guys listening. Send me the word podcast into my Instagram. And get ready for more Fit Rich podcasts. I might get a guest on 
Anyway, even if you send me a message, guys, you don't want the program or you do want the program, let me know what you guys want. You know, that's what it's all about. It's the start of the year. I only want to be doing stuff that you guys like. Not, I don't want to be recording stuff that I think is good and none of it's not helping none of you guys. So as it being the first one of the year, first of many, drop me a message. Honestly, we really appreciate it. I answer all my own DMs. Give me some sort of stuff you want me to speak about in the podcast and I'll get it out as soon as possible. Alrighty. Cheerio. Take care, guys, and have a, have a solid week.